Hi, and welcome to the weather forecast discussion for the week beginning Thursday, May 14th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. This Friday, in case you're going to a drive-in, I think this is the third weekend, you could go to drive-in someplace along the Front Range, uh, you'll have a third quarter moon in the... Um, early morning hours so it won't be any problem at all to see the film or but it won't help you take a walk uh, in the evening this weekend let's start by looking back in time and take a look at the uh, roughly the winter st statistics for temperature and precipitation across the nation for the period january through march with uh, winter beginning technically december 21st we have the eastern half of the nation really roasting um, with the western uh, part of the nation normal to just a little above normal uh, western northern colorado close to normal and uh, southeastern colorado a touch warmer than normal when you look at precipitation we are pretty much normal throughout the entire mountain uh, west and uh, northern plains california unfortunately starting out dry and the southeastern U.S. minus the Gulf states uh, got really wet. Looking at the last seven days uh, for precipitation, we had those two uh, rainy days uh, earlier this week. And Longmont kind of did well regionally. We got about a half inch of water, uh, a little bit less right around us. The mountains did pretty well with half inch to almost an inch. And the eastern... Plains, southern counties didn't get very much at all. We'll take a look at drought conditions at the end of today's discussion. So, spoiler alert for the whole next 10 day period, here's our normal high temperature rising from about 73, 74 degrees. Over the next 10 days, normal low temperature is 40 and it's on the rise as well as we come towards summer. We have two nights of showers afternoon showers evening showers maybe some thunderstorms thursday better chance of thunderstorms on friday so i put this little thunderstorm sim signal here there's a little bit of a uh, another evening event for saturday maybe a few more showers forming we'll see we start the week dry and there's some scattered precipitation later in the week for thursday noon you can see a front still draped down along the mountains here dry conditions still there is moisture in the gulf coming up and some moisture coming out of the uh, tropics there as well for thursday evening you can see northern colorado getting a combination of a short wave coming in across in the upper atmosphere moisture available at the surface this convergence along the stationary front giving us a chance for some precipitation for Friday, a stronger shortwave is coming through what's now almost a zonal flow. If you remember, we've been going back and forth for the past couple months with either a big ridge in the west or a big trough in the west. Right now, it's pretty much straight west to east, but there's a little ripple uh, coming through the western U.S. towards us. Will there be any severe weather? Well, for Thursday, the uh, Storm Prediction Center is giving us a marginal chance of, of uh, severe weather, probably for hail winds down the southeastern part of the state. It could get drawn closer to the metro area by the time we get uh, uh, into Thursday morning. You, know, you will have to just check that or take a look at the Longmont Observer weather site for updates on that. For Friday, right now they've got the marginal risk even further away, but it's not impossible that we could get another little spot on the uh, warm and moist side of the Rockies, the eastern side, uh, with a chance of some hail. Severe probabilities, we looked at the sequence of these last week. You can see that they come into the front range in uh, northeastern part of the state. There is a um, little elevated chance of of severe weather climatically so it, it, it's possible how much precipitation will we get well picking it up these uh, chances of rain Thursday Friday Saturday looking out four days right around Longmont looks like about a quarter of an inch of rain go to the mountains nearby 
Got about a half inch of rain up here. Some really good amounts, inch, inch and a half, two inches out here in the northeast and down east of Colorado Springs into the southeast of there. Unfortunately, the southwestern part of the state stays dry. If you scoop in another six days, you see the precipitation around Longmont and Boulder really doesn't change much, but we are expecting a lot more rain out in the northeastern corner around Sterling up into Nebraska and, and like that. Maybe a little bit in the southern mountains, but the southwest Four Corners area gets missed. Look at this next seven days from Thursday into Friday. We have a warm up with increasing chances of afternoon and evening storms. Pretty good chance of some uh, wet weather and some thunder Friday afternoon and evening. Little chance Saturday night. Uh, we have a little bit of a cool down with. Uh, air coming in from the north behind that departing trough. Then a ridge comes back into the western U.S. and over Colorado. We rock it up to the 80s for Sunday, upper 80s Monday, and I've once before called for 90 plus a couple weeks ago and we had too much cloud cover that day to reach that level. It might happen again Tuesday before we cool down again with a little disturbance coming in, bringing also a very small chance of precipitation. I promised we'd look at the current drought conditions before we wrap up today. The northern tier of counties are doing pretty well. Right around here we're fine. No drought conditions whatsoever. But the southern part of the state, eastern plains, is notch by notch getting drier as we have warm weather and very little precipitation coming in recently. So again, keep appraised of Local stories, the Longmont Observer, soon to be called the Longmont Leader. Watch for that change coming up really soon. And I update the weather pretty frequently there, so you can take a look at the weather column. So this has been your weather forecast and discussion for the week beginning Thursday, May 14th, 2020. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.